guys have been asking for it. You wanted to see a video with shorts. And honestly, I wasn't going to do it. But after hearing some of your feedback on my Struggling with Direction video, you guys really do look up to me and when it comes to fashion and style and you, you, you draw some inspiration from my videos and I'm very happy and proud to bring you that kind of content. So shorts you want, shorts it is. Here's the one thing about that though. I don't wear shorts. I never wear shorts. It can be 90 degrees outside and I'm not wearing shorts. And I, I had to take a moment and just kind of think about why I choose not to. And when I thought about it, the conclusion I came up with is I just don't like the way I look in shorts. I have very skinny legs and I've always had a very slim and trim body. Well, that's not true, not always. For, for the past several years, I've maintained my look by just eating healthy and working out here and there, but I've never really put primary focus in my legs. Naturally and genetically, I have skinny legs. That's just how it is. I have skinny calves, but I do need to work on them. And after I put these outfits together, I realized that I can wear shorts more and I would like to wear shorts more. I just want to feel more confident in wearing shorts. But you guys wanted me to bring you some outfits with shorts, so that is what I did. So hopefully you guys can appreciate this. I am completely stepping out of my comfort zone here. I got some work to do on the legs, so keep that in mind. So you can roast me in the comments if you want. Chicken legs this, chicken legs this. Say what you want. I will do my best to work on it. So by this time, Next year, next summer, hopefully I will have um, I will have better looking legs. Before we hop into today's video, make sure you have your post notifications turned on. So there's three different options that you'll see. It'll be all personalized and I believe none. None means you don't have notifications turned on at all. Personalized means that you will get them sometimes based off the kind of videos that you've been watching. And all means every time I upload, you're going to be notified of that upload. Make sure you guys click those notifications, turn them all the way on, so you will not miss out on any of my videos. A lot of feedback I kept getting was that you guys aren't seeing my videos when I upload them. So if you turn those notifications on and have it set to all, you will be notified. Links for all pieces will be down below in the description section. I'll do my best to find whatever I can for you guys. And I just realized I did all this talk and haven't even done my intro. Can can we can we take that back? Welcome back to another video style crew. If you're new here, I am Rio, and today's video is gonna be seven outfits with shorts. Starting off with outfit number one, I wanted to keep this one fairly simple. This look is comprised of some beige colored khaki shorts, an oatmeal colored t-shirt from Uniqlo, and some white minimal sneakers. The shorts are 100% cotton for breathability, and I rolled the sleeves on the t-shirt to make the look a little more stylized. The shorts are from Dockers and have been tucked away in my drawer for a very long time at least for like eight years. But shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> Rest in peace, John Witherspoon. If you've learned anything about me, then you know I love earth tones and monochromatic outfits. So this is a simplistic take for that extremely hot day. For outfit number two, we got some vibrance. You know, it's not too often that I wear bright colors much these days, but I should do it more often. Denim shorts, which actually used to be a pair of jeans until they got stained with some ink on them. So I cut them into shorts many years ago and making this video gave me a reason to put them to use. And the main highlight being this Charlotte Hornets jersey by Champion, vintage. Now I had to pair it with the Hornets cap by Starter. And can we take a moment to acknowledge how amazing these Turbo Green Jordan 1s are? These things are, are beautiful. I actually had to pay resale for them and I don't regret it one bit. Such an amazing combination that I just couldn't pass it up. Some of you may not know whose jersey this is and some of you do. If you know, you know. Call them LJ or Grandmama. If you know. You know. That's what they came to see from Larry J. 
Johnson, and he doesn't disappoint. Alfred number three is a little more mature. For my grown folks out there. Another pair of those Docker shorts, this time in gray, and a complete excuse to wrinkles. This is my take on a casual achromatic look with some sophistication. We have a white linen button up shirt from Uniqlo, which is slightly oversized. The white sneakers are the Adidas Super Court, and I actually just picked these up a few weeks ago on Amazon for $45. The half French tuck made this look a bit more stylish, but if you don't like the look of the half French tuck, then just leave it untucked. A very simple and effortless outfit. You can always spice it up a little bit more with some jewelry if you need to. Outfit number four. This one is probably my favorite out of all seven looks. With this look, we have a pair of gray sweatshorts with a white drawstring and this Cuban collar resort shirt from H&M. The colors on this piece is gorgeous. And I paired those with the Yeezy 700s and the Wave Runner colorway. I really loved how well the colors in each piece complemented one another. I also used a white tank top as a layer under the shirt. I just felt that it gave the top half a little more of a dynamic look. And then I just buttoned the middle button of the shirt to make it more stylish. That completes look four. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. With look five, we got a little classy with this one. This is another one for the mature folks. Those Docker shorts again, this time in stone, and dressing it up with some suede loafers and navy. To give this look more of that mature feel, I utilized this cream and navy horizontal stripe polo from J. Crew. Just another simple yet put together look, keeping it clean and minimal. The watch face is also blue, tying it in to the rest of the look. I'll meet you in the golf course. What time we teeing up? Outfit number six, back with a street look. Simple, achromatic, and still very stylish. We have some black sweatshorts, just like the gray pair from Outfit Four. And these Jordan 11 IE Lows, which just released a few weeks back. Fun fact, I actually prefer these over the traditional 11 Lows. And you know you can't go wrong with a crisp white tee. And a black Nike dad hat complements the rest of the look. Outfit number seven. Well, we made it to the end. Here we have another street look and some more earth tones. What can I say? I just love earth tones. Camo cargo shorts for minimal. Stay tuned for that haul coming very, very soon. Subscribe and turn on post notifications. Then I use my olive nines to complement the camo shorts. The olives are definitely one of my favorite colorways on the Jordan 9 silhouette. And to complete the look, I used this brown crew neck t-shirt from Uniqlo. The haul will also be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And I almost forgot the hat. The black hat to pick back up on the tones from the sneakers. 
hope you guys enjoyed these seven outfits with shorts. As I said earlier, I never wear shorts, so I definitely had to step outside of my comfort zone for this one. I will do my best to leave links for all of these pieces down below in the description section. Comment below and let me know which outfit was your favorite. Thank you for watching.